it's totally changed. It's a fantastic learning environment. Um, the motto of, of St. Francis is living life uh, to its fullness, I think it is, uh, reflects a police officer's role as well. Uh, it's exactly what we should be doing. Um, the pupils here, the, the young students, uh, have been absolutely fantastic on the trip here. Uh, and I would have loved an environment in which to learn like St. Francis Saviour's is now. Uh, it's much changed, much improved, um, and it's very much towards getting people ready to be part of the community as, as they grow through life, uh, and I think they're doing a fantastic job at that. I thought it was good, and you got enough information about what it was like to do the, be in the police and how to pursue the career. I think every individual should work to the full potential. Uh, that will mean that some people will go on to get degrees, some won't. Uh, in policing, I'm very clear that you shouldn't have to have a degree to be a police officer. Uh, what you do need is good community skills and the desire to be a public servant and the desire to want to make a positive difference to people on a daily basis. But everyone should work the full potential. So if you can do it, do it, if it's what you want to do. Uh, but Merseyside Police, like police across the country at the moment, will take people who are good communicators, people who want to do the right thing for communities, people who want to make a difference. Um, being equipped with that sort of education, as they do here at St Francis Saviour's, is exactly the right start in life. I think it's important before you apply to join the police to show that you are committed to community service, to serve in the public. Uh, so getting involved in whatever way that is in helping the local community, whether that's organised schemes or, or voluntary schemes or just off your own bat. Um, the most important thing is that you understand that you're part of the community when you become a police officer. You don't sit outside it, you're there to serve the public and serve the public as well as you can. I thought it was very interesting because we got to hear firsthand what the police are doing for us on a daily basis and just general how it's going and what they do. We do an awful lot of work with educational establishments right across uh, Merseyside, not just across Liverpool. Um, we work with people like Everton in the community. We work, we have individual schools officers at various schools around the county. Uh, and those officers do an excellent job Police officers are part of the community, they don't sit outside it. We ensure that we're fully linked in, that we have a really good neighbourhood policing approach across Merseyside, uh, and that our, our officers see the community as someone that should be helped, someone should be protected, uh, and they are very much a part of that whole fabric of Merseyside, which is what make, makes Merseyside a great county, uh, which is what I think makes Merseyside Police a great police force. Well, I thought it was incredibly informative, and I think the, the questions and the answers from the Chief Constable really got down to the really consequential aspects of the police, the serious, weighty issues that are often like in the media are given a negative slant, whereas today we're given a more positive human slant. Really good, really um, represented the police in a very positive way and we got to know like how they work with our community. Merseyside Police run a thriving cadet um, service uh, we take applications every year for young people 16 and over to apply to. Uh, we're looking to extend that into apprenticeships if we can as well, moving forward over the next couple of years. Uh, but certainly the amount of people who have been police cadets uh, is quite stunning. Uh, the work they've done while they've been police cadets has been noticed right across Merseyside.